Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Abyss Siege. That was a weird intro, I know. I'm so, whoa, damn it. I, I dropped a coin and I didn't even, oh, I didn't even see what happened. I dropped the coin, I looked down to the floor looking for it and uh, okay, I died. Perfect, I'm gonna have to watch that whenever I edit this video. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, this, uh, oh my god, I'm, I'm so happy to finally be back and doing some more Abyss Siege. This first thing may look a bit familiar, it was created by Anthony Smitherson, I believe, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Um, and uh, he also has another badass looking tank in this episode, but this first thing looks familiar, and uh, the reason why is that it's featured in another Abyss Siege episode that I did, but... Uh, it was a bit of a different version, so if you take a look at it here, you can see that these two front wheels are uh, are made to be headlights, for instance, and and that's really really cool. Also, I mean, what what I'm talking about here is essentially the level of detail in this guy's designs, because also these springs here, these springs, they are there purely for for decor decoration, I think, and also just, I mean. The, the small things really make a difference, and the same thing with the swivel joint down here. I'm just, I am so freaking pumped. And he, he even considered that you know it was a back wheel drive, but it would it it should have the exact same wheels on either either side, you know, front or rear. So he he smacked on another set of unpowered wheels. I love this thing to pieces. It is incredible, uh, which is ironic because I died with it. So let's see. I am. Um, I don't think there's much functionality to it, but the way, I mean, the, the, the sort of realistic tone it has to the vehicle is definitely, ha ha ha, whoa, whoa, it's definitely awesome, it's definitely awesome, and sturdy too, I gotta say. Um, when I was testing it out, I was having a bit of problems with uh, getting it to run, yeah, okay, yeah, on cue, it does it. Um, here's the problem, I think. Be because, I mean, I'm, I'm pushing forward right now and it doesn't really go. Um, but if I go in here and I put it on the ground, you can see that it moved up a slight bit. And I think that's what's, yeah, that's what's making it able to move now. Uh, so you, if, if, if you check out this vehicle and, and every, single, um, every single download to these vehicles are in the description below. But if you do check out this vehicle, make sure that you set it on the ground at least. And I think we broke apart... Uh, <laughs> but like I said, the attention to detail, you have the doors breaking up in a separate material. And uh, and you even, I mean, if, if you look in here, let's just try to focus the camera correctly. You even have room for your legs. That's pretty fucking awesome. I love this one. So if you like anything that involves slingshots and bombs and lifting and other things... You're gonna love this machine. Okay, I don't know why that bomb is down there. Like, right here. I don't know. Um, but there is a... Uh, okay, I should probably have checked out the controls before I... God damn it. <clears throat> right. Okay. So, you lift it up with a TNG. And uh, you, you sort of have to do that because then the bombs um, are gonna fall down here. And then you push one over... I think I blew into the mic there. Sorry about that. And then H, I believe. Yeah, and you fire... Oh, okay. No scope, bitch. Okay, it wasn't a 360, but it was definitely a no scope. Okay, so right. So you extend, um, you extend these arms here, and then you can. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Ah, that did not work. What the hell happened? I think I know what went wrong because, uh, yeah. Okay. By the way, you have, um, you have steering on this thing as well, which I don't know the controls for either. I'm a fucking dumbass, but. Uh, Anyway, you, you have to sort of stabilize this thing. And I think you do that on F or something, and then you can shoot. Right, okay, not a no-scope this time. Far away from that. Uh, but anyway, you, you do this um, like you push it in. <laughs> That's what she said. And you, whoa, okay, I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> we just blew up. God damn it. And we have lift off. Perfect. This is the albatross, or, you know, the albatross. And, uh, whoa, 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 hey. Okay, you're supposed to turn the other way. I'm sorry, I'm rambling with my keys here on the table and everything. Uh, which are kind of close to the mic, so I'm sorry about that. But this is, I'm, I'm only going up and a little bit to the left right now, just to kind of stabilize it uh, a little bit. 
and you can tilt this thing. And I need to. I mean, if 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 you saw how I was sitting with my uh, with my hands controlling this thing, you would die of laughter. So yeah, it's probably a good idea. You don't see that. Whoa. Okay. I I, I shot those off. I didn't even know they were there. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So Alt and X alternate between the two top fans and they sort of allow you to tilt the vehicle in a way um, and it's shoveling air uh, downwards giving um, what the hell is it uh, uh, upward propulsion I think that's what what it's called I'm not quite sure and it's going out of frame it's going out of frame but I just I just wanted to showcase this because I'm so proud of my new PC it's running it at uh, well now 25 frames per second um, at 25%, so that's pretty good. So yeah, I'm 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 really really liking this thing, and I'm only going up right now. I'm only going upwards, so it is tilting a little bit. I'm not controlling it because now I'm controlling the camera, uh, but still, uh, it has like 10 fans, and it's fucking humongous. I would love to see a ship version for the for the water mod, uh, made like inspired with this thing. Uh, so yeah, hey. Creator, get on it if you like to, whatever. I just, I thought that would be a really cool idea. Anyway, this is the Albatross, pretty damn awesome and huge vehicle. And steady, steady, steady. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hey, steady, you keep on going there. Okay, right, I, I, I don't even know where you are right now. Okay, hey, there you go. Can you relax? Can you just please relax? God damn it, where'd you go? Okay, I'm gonna try this once more. So this is like the mini jet or uh, or whatever it's called. I think it's the mini jet. I'm not quite sure on the name, but uh, yeah, I um I figured out a way to control it with uh with one hand. So I key mapped the back thrusters. Uh, th this thing is way too fast for the camera to to sort of keep up. Um, and I'm also sorry if I'm if I'm sort of talking into the mic a little bit weird, but I'm uh, I'm sort of sitting looking towards the controls so like on my keyboard I had to move the mic but I'm trying to speak into it loud and clear so this thing it's very stable first of all um, like many of the other whoa whoa okay like many of the other sort of smaller jet designs we've seen but this is the first one that works off of the actual uh, whoa it can really do a loop it is truly stunty okay and, and can it save yeah, it saved itself. No, it did not save itself. Okay, this next thing is the tank that I mentioned earlier, the T90 tank, and it is made by the same guy, Anthony Smitherson, and um, it doesn't want to go. He said that if uh, if it didn't want to go, I should probably remove. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna remove the, the the key mapping there, but I should also remove these things here, these wooden poles, because that would prevent it from going. So let's see what 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 happens. When we, yeah, okay, you are correct, sir. You are correct. Okay, don't hit that bomb. Don't hit that bomb. Right. So, once again, the level of detail on this freaking thing. I'm just gonna put it here again. Right. So the level on, you, you just just the freaking level of whoa. Okay, level of destruction too. Holy hell! I I did not press anything. What the hell are you doing? Seriously, stop. Okay. Okay, so now hopefully I'm, I'm running this at 50% and or well 49 and I'm actually quite proud uh, To see it run this smoothly in a way um, There's a bit of drop in the frame, but yeah nothing I can do about it So like I said the level of detail um, in this thing is so unreal because you you actually have this thing looking like a real tank you have like um what is this, the cap of the tank where the soldiers climb in or whatever? And then the soldier would sit here with this artillery cannon here, which looks so badass and so military. And uh, it, it, it could have this little radar here, like the swivel joint. And uh, this thing over here is like armor plating or something for the guy. And over here, you know, just to kind of break up the texture, we have some wooden stuff instead of the metal. Also to make it a little bit lighter in the back end, I think. And uh, some high frictional pads just for texturing, you know. This is this is pure eye candy. I, I simply download his designs because of eye candy. Because this is this is truly it. And also, 
very small things, like I said, very small things do the difference or make the difference. And I love the fact that he just took the time to rotate these metal plates here. And now for the siege tank, which has a design that I actually recognize from another uh, tank that was uh, made way back in the day before any sort of major updates were ever applied to Besiege. Uh, so that was sort of an old design, but it has re-emerged from the grave. I don't know where the fuck this has been, but it's awesome. And this is the siege tank. Now, as you can see, we have these stabilizers here uh, that are sticking out. Um, and... Uh, they they sort of hold the weight up so it doesn't collapse on itself and then here is the pierce de resistance this which is uh oops hang on yeah this thing uh, is is fully maneuverable without having to think of the bottom um yeah the bottom of anything actually so it's it's so nicely done it is so nicely done i don't see the core block okay yeah i do see the core block there it is. All right, I was just about. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's um, let's at least try to fire on these knights over here with this thing because. Oh yeah, and by the way, I, I totally forgot to mention it can drive too. Obviously, it has. Uh, well, now this thing is a is a little bit wonky because I turned it around, but it can drive. It can fully drive, and it is good at it. It is very very good at it. So let's line up here, and hi sheep. Please don't come near me and shoot. No, oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I've, I, I've already freaking used my shot. Okay, you know what? Try this one more time. Let's just hit someone, please. Bowling. That. Yeah, well, we got one. You know what? That is not good enough. I need something bigger. Well, not necessarily bigger, but more of it, which is why I'm going to go unlimited here and go a little bit nuts. So... Raise this up into the air and go like this. So <laughs> wherever I shoot, I may hit stuff. I, I actually need to uh, to sort of lower this thing a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now, yeah. Okay. And ah, let's get the last one there. Leave no man behind. Right. There we go. One more thing. I, I seriously need an explosion. I really do. So, whoa. Okay. Uh, police sirens outside my window. Something going on out there. It doesn't matter. Let's shoot a bomb. Yeah! I could not have asked for a better shot. Wait, no, thinking about it, yes, I could, because actually I shot like a freaking hundred of them. Ho 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 ho. Check this beast out. Seriously. This is probably one of my all time favorite machines that I've seen in Besiege so far, besides from all the small, easy to control planes. This thing is a freaking crane. Better yet, the Minotaur crane. No, it's not the Minotaur crane. It says Minotaur or something. Uh. But anyway, this thing. Whoa. Hey, yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, that was loud. Uh. Right, this thing can shoot, uh, but only once, but it also has the crane functionality, and considering the fact that this is not made with the hidden block in one of the mods that you can type in, which I actually have right here, you have the, the new uh, mod thingy, imagingy or whatever, and you can even move it around, which is quite nice. You have normal gravity and stuff, I thought there would be a little bit more to this, like some coloring and such, but apparently not. It doesn't really matter. Uh, toggle that away. Thank you. So, you can retract this thing almost like an elephant can. Well, an elephant can't retract its fucking snout or whatever the hell it is. But either way, I mean, it, it reminds me of an elephant. That's why I said elephant. I have no fucking idea why I said elephant. That was fucking stupid. Okay, now, another thing about this, which uh, which kind of intrigues me. Uh, I, I, I love sort of small fun facts about... Um, about designs and such and here's one for you all about this thing if you turn and counter turn hard enough the top part is so heavy that it doesn't follow the vehicle it actually turns the automated cogs either way so yeah i i'm turning the the cogs right now and the uh <laughs> The bottom part is moving before the top part, which is just insane. Hi, sheep! I kind of want to pick you up. Can I pick you up? Please tell me I can pick you up. I need a bit more of a better camera angle for this. Oh, this is perfect. 
This is freaking perfect. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah, oh, no. No. No, come back. Come back. Okay. I know. I know you wanna. I know you wanna. Come here. Seriously. Yes. 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 Okay. Now, sheep. Since you like exploding so fucking much, I figured why not do it all for you. So if I'm not mistaken, it's this one right here, right? That's the one you love so much? Yeah. Considering your your friend kind of died there, that's kind of sad. Also, I want to state I'm not I'm 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 not, you know, for any kind of animal cruelty actually. I I love animals, but uh this this is <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh god, please don't. Please don't kill the sheep for me and explode it to bits, right? This is for all the times you have run into a fucking bomb and destroyed my recordings because of it. Die. <laughs> Die. She Whoa. Okay. Hey. Other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Come on. Come on. No. 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 Oh my god. That was fucking stupid. No. Ah. Oh, I needed to be way more careful. I need to do that. I need to do that. It's me versus the sheep. Oh. Hey. Where are you going? Hey, 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 come back here. Come back here. You and I, we have a little bomb settlement. We have a little bomb settlement. Come here. Hey, you, come here. No, no. Ah, hey, what happened? No, hey, that's not the kind of bomb settlement I was thinking about. God damn it. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm having trouble picking up that sheep. I've been trying a little bit, and it just doesn't seem to want to go to the claw anymore like it did before. But uh, anyway, that's a pretty damn cool little little thingy majingy. Like, well, not a little thingy majingy. It's a freaking huge crane. There is one level though that I'm so excited to try this thing out on. So hang on, I'll be right back. And here it is. So if you didn't expect this level, I honestly don't know what to tell you. This is, of course, the level where you have to steal and deliver one wooden pile. And I'm gonna do so, or I'm hopefully gonna do so, with this vehicle. So, let's prance our way on over here. Uh, try... Okay, 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 I got it. I almost got it. I just need to go down. Yes! Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Holy hell, this is amazing. All right, okay, okay, so up we go, up we go. Come on. There we are. I don't think that is high enough. I think it needs to go all the way up. Okay, so I don't know if this was made with the level in mind. I don't think so, but it looks to me that it can just fit up there, which is quite amazing. I know for a fact that this thing is not built with uh, free mode in mind. Oh, let's see. Yeah, and of course we need to let go of it as well. There we go. Okay, I can't let go of it. it. It is letting go of some other grabber. Okay, and I shot my back cannons, but that is the Minotaur crane or yeah, Minotaur crane. So <laughs> thank you everyone so much for watching. Oh my god, the, the freaking wood pile fell down again. Right, leave a like if you enjoy <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.